station. The morning show starts now. So the summer heat can do a lot of damage to your skin. The specific ingredients that should be in your sunscreen, plus a special brush that allows you to apply sunscreen even after you've put on your makeup. We've got the details coming up. But next, the summer heat can do a lot of damage to your skin. We're going to talk with a doctor about how to keep your skin looking fresh. And I am particularly excited to hear more about this brush that helps you apply sunscreen even after you've put your makeup on. So summer can do a lot of damage to your skin. Joining us this morning is Dr. Calpana de Pasquale with Avanti Medical Spa to show us kind of the best ways to care for our skin, particularly our faces. Good morning mm -hmm. to you. Thanks for being Good morning. here. You know what? I hear this all the time from my doctor, and that is hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. It's important for weight loss. It's just important for your organs and your body, but it also is really good for your skin. It really is, because what people don't know is that 75% of Americans are actually chronically dehydrated, and that old adage of drinking eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day isn't necessarily true, because if you're out in the hot sun, if you're exercising, you may need a lot more than that. And I like to equate it um, to a raisin versus a grape. You definitely want to be hydrated so you look like the grape and yeah. nobody wants to look like a raisin. Yeah, but it's so true. <laughs> and it's interesting because I think with this humidity, even if you're not doing any exercise, it's mm -hmm. like we're all sweating so much just being outside so it can sneak up on you getting dehydrated. It really can. And I always take water with me wherever I go. And what's so great is I have this uh, filtration device in this cup so I just can fill it up wherever, fill it up with tap water. It doesn't matter where I get it from because I don't have to worry about the toxins in the water. So I'm hydrating myself with good, clean water, this which is, is fantastic. So cool. Oh, where do you get something like Actually, this? Actually, I have it in my office, and they're available. Yeah. You know, we, we distribute these in the office because they're, they're just so Fantastic. great for on the go, especially yeah. when you travel. I travel a lot. So, you know, if I'm in another country, I don't have to worry about the water. I could just yeah. fill it up with whatever water. I don't have to worry about buying it and all that plastic waste. Yeah, I don't like that. that is a great idea. And do you put ice in it to keep it cold? Yeah, yeah, you can put yeah. ice in it as well. So it's, it's a great little travel tool. It looks <laughs> fantastic. All right, tool. I'm going to have to get one of those. <laughs> so sunscreen. Uh, you know, you could walk into a CVS or a Walgreens and it's like, oh my gosh, there are so many options. And it's important that you buy sunscreen that contains in particular two specific ingredients. Yes, the titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And mostly because they provide a physical barrier. You know, most other sunscreen provide a, provide a chemical barrier, which is not something that we want. So, you know, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are great because they actually provide a physical barrier against those UV rays. And, you know, I love this because I know that these days, you know, sunscreen, everybody knows they're supposed to wear it. But right. the problem now is not people wearing it. It's that people are not reapplying it every two or three hours as necessary. And for us women in particular, the biggest issue is because we've already put on our makeup and then we're like, well, what do we do now? So this is so great because it's a portable brush and, you know, you can take yeah. it with you. You can reapply as necessary yeah. every couple of hours and it gives you great protection and also gives you a little bit of a, a bronzy look. So it's, yeah, it's fantastic. Is, and does it have a product in it or yeah, it's just yeah. the brush you can see okay. you can see the powder in here so basically as you as you use it the powder comes out and it's got a sunscreen and it, it works fantastic it's portable i love it and it's a it's from uh sun forgettable it's by color science so you can find this anywhere it comes in multiple shades as well which is great uh, and well and it's great too because it does come in the shades and it can get rid of also you know when you're out you get that, uh, that kind of shiny, greasy looking shiny yes, look yes. and that helps with that as well it does it Ooh, does. i love that yeah, all right fantastic product <laughs> so microdermabrasion I have thought about maybe doing this just as I get older. Mm -hmm. I, I, I spend a lot of time outside. I try to cover and everything. Is there a lot of downtime? I mean, what's the, what's the difference between microabrasion and maybe just being good about getting, let's say, a facial every three or four months? So a microdermabrasion, what it does is it's actually going to resurface your skin, and it really is no downtime. You might just be a slight bit pink after yeah. the procedure. I mean, often I can do it at lunchtime and go wow. to work right after and see really? patients, okay. so it's not a problem. But what's so nice is that, you know, after the sun and the salt exposure, you get that leathery kind of texture to your skin, and that's what this will do. It'll just resurface everything. We we um, love this diamond tip microdermabrasion in our office because there's a crystal version too, but it gets a little bit messy, which is a little annoying. But this is just great because it'll just sit there and, you know, it, it does removes it hurt? those. I mean, what does it feel like? No, it feel, you can yeah. feel it right here. 
That's what well, it that's feels it? like. And really? basically it's attached to a suction device oh. in the in the office, obviously, to bring the whole machine. Yeah. And basically it resurfaces and improves that skin texture, leaving you with a nice smooth skin texture like things were before the sun exposure. Right. And then obviously I know that you um, suggest not being in the sun, but you can go eventually in the sun. Oh, again. yes. It's Typically not, you know, 24, 48 hours. So it's really not a long time. You just don't want to go out in the sun for long periods of time after having something oh, like that's this That's fantastic. Done. And of course, um, you do want to be aware of spray tans. And I think this is important yes. to get to. I know we're running short on time mm -hmm. because I know a lot of, of my friends who are getting the spray tans because they want to be careful that they're not getting too much sun, but you have to be careful about some of the ingredients. Yes, I mean, it's a double-edged sword. You're trying to stay out of the sun because of the health risks, but um, DHA, dihydroxyacetone, is a chemical that's found in a lot of spray tans, and it can actually alter your DNA, which can be a precursor to cancers and things. So you want to make sure you know what's in your spray tan. People got to start asking questions and start looking into things before they just randomly do things like spray tan. So it's always good to just be knowledgeable about everything that you're putting on your body. Doctor, thank you very much. Great thank information you. about keeping your skin looking wonderful, particularly during the summer, since you maybe are out in sundresses and bikinis and whatnot. So if you would like to share this interview with a friend who maybe missed it, we're going to post it a little later on our website, newsforjax.com. Just look under the morning show page.